First question will come from Rick Stroud. You got a lot of rave reviews for the way you played the other night, both running and, and catching the ball. But the thing that opened eyes was on the one kick coverage, they said they clocked you at 22 miles an hour. Did you know you were going that fast? And how hard have you worked on that aspect of your special teams kick coverage? I necessarily didn't know I was going that fast. I, I had felt fast, though, when I was running down the field. Um, it just was kind of like the first time I was really able to open up and run down the field on, while playing gunner. And and then also um, taking much pride in playing special teams, knowing that that's going to be the key role for me uh, this year, dressing on Sundays. And you guys are going to go against Tennessee a couple of days. It's, it's a controlled scrimmage type thing. But how much are you looking forward to that work? you know, in addition to what you get in the preseason games? I'm looking forward to everything. Um, just this experience, kind of be able to play games, go out there and just play, have fun, uh, not really worry much. Um, just take it for what it is and um, play play football. Next, we'll go to Kevin O'Donnell. Okay, Sean, uh, how would you describe maybe year two for you, the biggest change that you've seen in your second year in the NFL? Um, I say um, attention to detail is a big thing that, that has stuck out to me, um, the small details. And now it's just taking it from the class to the grass. And that's the uh, biggest thing for me. And then, like like always, just taking whatever role is given to me. And that's what, that this year will be special teams, and I'm ready for it. And I don't know how often you run into uh, Nacho having to block him at practice, but what's your impression of, of him on the field? I say just energetic. Uh, just a a guy with a lot of energy when he make plays, and that's somebody you want on your team at all times. Next, we'll go to J.C. Allen. How comfortable do you feel in this offense being in your second year? We talked about earlier having that full offseason to prepare and know what to expect. Um, what, what's it like being able to just kind of go out and play instead of having to think? Just with this being my second year, I'm way more comfortable than last year, just understanding concepts, what the quarterback wants from us, and where I need to be on the field, that's like going back to the first question, small details, which sticks out uh, a lot. And that's something that I have picked up on within my first year. And now going into year two, I'm a lot comfortable with what I'm doing out there. So I'm able to kind of just play more than just think. Next, we'll go to Joey Knight. How much special teams, if any, you had to play at Vanderbilt back in the day? Not, I really didn't play special teams at Vanderbilt. This kind of... um. I ain't really play special teams. I ain't really play special teams, high school, college, or so like all this is kind of new for me. Um, but I'm 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 willing to accept whatever challenge is ahead of me. And that's kind of how, how I always been. That kind of leads to my next question. Obviously, I saw you line back in line back up in kick return. Have you ever was the last time you'd lined up for a kick? Um, last time I lined up for a kick was probably like, well. When I was assigned a kick returner, probably was my sophomore year of high school. But like towards senior year, I just used to hop back there whenever I wanted to. So <laughs> once again, I'm kind of starting fresh with kick return too, just kind of get my legs back going, kind of filling it out again. So I'm just ready for uh, anything to get on the field. Have you ever taken a kick or a punt to the house in your life? Yeah, high school, high school. Whenever I got back there.